Now I'm going to show you in this video how to de-winterize your Tab 400. And it's only been a few days since I, well about a week since I winterized it, but here in Texas we can camp in the winter time and it's, you know, in the 70s now after it was 17 degrees. So I've already checked and the next two weeks it's not even going to get, I think maybe in the 40s at night. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Now I have the printout here that New Camp provides about how to do this, but in this little document they fail to tell you to drain everything, which they do tell you in the video. So this is kind of a combination of the video and what this paper document tells you to do. And the first thing you're going to do is empty out your black and your gray tank of all of the pink fluid and then all of your low point drains down here. So on the tab 400, the 2021, that's your fresh drain. And then the low point drains are in here with the Nautilus system. There shouldn't be too much stuff in here. <laughs> Let me a little bit in the gray. So get that emptied. And then obviously you want to close these up. Get these emptied. Oh, these are harder than they look on the videos. Okay, just a little bit. Gosh, can I get my finger under there? Uh, our videos always make it look so easy. Oh, there we go. Just a few drips, and I'm gonna do this one. Oh, you hear Bella breathing, my brother's dog. <laughs> Bella, <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, there we go. Next, you want to put your Nautilus into the sanitized position. Just follow the little diagram. Goes down, that's like that, that's like that, and that is like that. Just like that. Now you need to connect up your garden hose to your water inlet, and then put the hose in your bleach water solution and then you're gonna turn your water pump on. But if this doesn't work, you can always use a funnel method. Mine didn't work last time, so we'll see. <laughs> see, I feel it coming through there, so maybe this is working this time. Okay, just like last time, I could not get the pump to siphon out the bleach water, so I got the funnel, attached it, held it up, kind of above my head and pour the Clorox water in there. So I don't know why that's not working, but hopefully yours will work. <laughs> okay, after you have that done, then you put it back into dry camping mode. Got the little light on to help you. We're gonna put it back in dry camping mode. And this, and okay, now you come into the camper, you turn on the water pump and you'll run water all through the lines, hopefully. <laughs> Here we go. So make sure you do the hot and the cold water. Okay, it's working. <laughs> kind of spitty. Here we go. Gosh, it's got bleach in it. And then once again, you want to empty out this fluid. And this is just some of the bleach water and some of the pink stuff. Okay, after you have emptied the water out of the faucets, then you want to put this in power fill mode and you're going to flush the system. So bottom left corner, you're going to follow the little instructions. That's what it's going to look like. You're going to hook up regular city water to the camper, and of course it's getting dark on me. <laughs> Make sure you put it in the power fill mode according to the diagram. And don't forget your water regulator. Fresh water going. Make sure you come in here and check your fresh water tank to make sure that's not overflowing. I'm not going to put too much in it, probably not more than half. And then I'll run the water through. We're back. Let's see. We're about, okay, there's, I'm about to a third. I'll do a little bit more just to run some water through the system. Okay, last step. You put the Nautilus system back into dry camp mode. And then you're going to go in and turn the pump on to get some fresh water through. So 
We're going to turn the pump back on. Why it's so sputtery? There's air in there. Let this go a little while. And that's it. You should be done. Yay! <laughs> I think it worked. You run the water through your little outdoor shower. So don't forget to do that. And that should be it.